Here you see the Keytron MD Metal Detectable Bearing Solution 304 Series Stainless Steel Shaft with two-part component made at bushing. This is a close-up of the 304 Series Stainless Steel Shaft Assembly showing a little closer edge detail of the two-part bushing assembly. The customer was using a two-part bushing assembly specifically for the reason to try to increase the extended part life as much as possible. They were having premature failures earlier with the bushing due to fusion welding because it was not lubricated. This application was a higher temperature under load and it runs continuously without lubrication and is using similar 304 series stainless steel. Thus the two-part bushing was an attempt by the original manufacturer to get longer life. That did not work. Here you see a typical two-day failure which happens when two parts fail and fusion weld causing assembly failure. This creates a lot of damage downstream as well as food contamination from metal. This was also a primary reason for the requirements for plastic components. Here you see a similar five-day fusion welding failure of the same current metal component. The video here is showing fabrication of our existing plastic bearing assembly. This part is used by a food producer that has now developed a food product for the U.S. and many underdeveloped countries. The food product developed using this processing system has substantially benefited the world market. Exact parameters of the application were researched by the sales engineer to meet the customer's exact requirements. Requirements that we had to meet for this application are the following. Metal detectable material. FDA compliant, very heavy loads, temperature requirements to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, unlubricated, and to be a minimal mating component to limit wear as much as possible. Here you see the current 304 series stainless bushing assembly and the very first prototype of the Keytron MD polymeric bushing also showing detail of where we went to a one-piece design and eliminated the need for two pieces, thus simplifying it and making it better for service life. This is a detailed close-up of both metal and polymeric bushings, again showing the detail of the one-piece assembly versus the two-part metal assembly. This is our first prototypical Keytron bushing with a stainless steel shafted component that is still in service. Here you can see our current polymeric bushing and the metal assembly with the shaft and the current design bushing assembly. The sample material came from Jim Evel at Quadrant, which at the time was the only material available in North America to test the material out of. The picture here is showing the polymeric detectable bushing test fit. This is when we initially made it and tested it to the stainless steel shaft to see how the fit was for the interferences. Shown here is the stainless steel housing and the end of the extender nozzle that the assembly goes into, which is also the same extender assembly that was shown in the failures earlier. This is the day we actually tested and press fit the bushing into the extruder assembly. Here we are testing that the press interferences were correct. Here we show the press actually being fit at the time. It went in with the correct amount of interference press fit so the bearing would not spin in the steel housing. Here is the bushing after being pressed in. The interference was correct with the amount of press fit tolerance on the OD of the component as well as the ID as it goes into service. And finally, we are showing the stainless steel shaft as it is being put down into the bushing to make sure that the interference on the ID was correct giving just the amount of proper running clearance. Even though this was shown at ambient temperature, it was also calculated in the thermal expansion factor for when it is actually running at the elevated temperatures. Your vision, our quality, one partnership. Cope.